heavy loads getting you down? Well, those problems will float away with my new helium-filled knapsack. Ooh, does it come in Halloween colors? Um, no. Oh, no thanks. Myron, what's wrong with your foot? I couldn't find my other shoe. Really? I've had that problem myself. You know what I did? I installed a GPS device on my kicks, so I always know where they are. Would you like one? Mm, no thanks. Usually I just tie a string to my finger if I want to remember something. Hey! I found it! Woohoo! Set! Hut, hut, hut! Well, I got it! No, I got it! I got it! Hey, Eric, Eric, and Eric. Wow, you guys look dirty. You know, it just so happens I have this new invention I like to call the Reverso Jersey. You can mess it up, then flip it inside out so you can hide the dirt. Why, I have one on myself. You can even... Or you could do that too, I guess. Oh, children, I have the most Wonderful news! We're all going to be on TV! Yeah! Uh, Mrs. Jules, you gotta stand in front of the camera. Oh, dear. Who knew getting on television would be so difficult? Man, you are some lucky dudes. See that big antenna up there? Wow! Wayside's the highest building around. So, a bunch of TV stations asked to put a transmitting tower on our roof. Part of the deal was, they gave us our own student-run TV station. Hey, we're all on TV! So, uh, who wants to be first? I'm going to be famous! Vote for me! I need a close-up! A close-up! Lewis, give me a close-up! Ooh! It's okay, Myron. Maybe we should use our channel more responsibly, like discussing wayside rules and regulations. <laughs> Starting with rule number one. Thank you, Dead Air Dana. But it's time for my show. Wheels Extreme! Wheels Extreme! Wheels Extreme! Wheels Extreme! Good evening. Welcome to the Steve and Spooky Channel where it's Halloween all the time. <laughs> okay, Stephen. Look, guys, we can all have our own show. All we have to do is share. Kidswater TV begins its broadcast day. How much would you pay for this vintage quality, mass-produced, one-of-a-kind collectible? Call the Kidswater Television Network to order now. What happened to our TV station? It's been overrun by clowns! Yes! But what a clown! Look, it's sad. Yet clowns are supposed to be happy. That's so crazy! <laughs> Lewis, did Mr. Kidswater just turn our student-run TV station into some kind of shopping channel? Whoa, little dude! I'll take that as a yes. This TV station belongs to all of us students. Come on, we can stop him! Yay! Just look at these replica original heirloom quality unicorns. And each one Clowns? comes with Who would actually buy that board. crud? I love this crud! <sighs> I guess it's up to us to fix this thing. Mauricia, can you rewire that transmitting tower and get Kid Swatter off our TV channel? Oh, I can do better than that. Wheels Extreme! Good because I'm going to have a word with Channel Kidswater. Next up for sale on the Kidswater Shopping Network, a brand new exercise DVD, Sweatin' with Sammy. He dead, but rat have abs of steel. Bye, bye, bye. All uh, lines uh, are open. Mr. Kidswater, what are you doing? Lewis said this TV station was for the students. Oh, uh... Time for a little break, folks. How about a special preview of that Sweatin' with Sammy DVD? 
Come on, you can do it. Give me one more, and two more, and three more, and keep it going, and one more. Come on now, who here really wants to see students on this so-called student-run station? The students do, that's who. It's better than selling cheesy statues and exercise DVDs. Come on, have you seen my special patented non-stick cook's water pans? <laughs> Food will never stick to this, nothing will. Hmm, that's not supposed to happen. <laughs> Help! I've got pot and pan hands! Uh. Radio Victory! Now look what you've made me do. All I've ever wanted is to share my vintage quality mass-produced products with the world. You're using our student station to sell a bunch of junk. I love this junk. No, don't pull the camera plug. Haven't you ever had an idea or a product, something so amazing, you just had to share it with the world? Well, I mean... I did have this idea once for reversible gym wear. You did? Think we can retail it for nineteen ninety five or less? I also designed something I call the Cleany Beanie. It's a hat that washes your hair. Hmm. Do you have a prototype? Well, funny you should ask. I was working on a mock-up the other day. Brilliant! And we're back! So, tell us more about this amazing new Cleany Beanie that is so smartly stylish and affordably priced. Well... When you just don't have time to wash your hair in the morning, you put it on wherever you are, give it a spin, and shampoo. Now, if I could just figure out how to shut it. So order now, while supplies last. Help, Mr. Kidswater, get this thing off of me. Woo! I want a cleany beanie too. What? Todd showed you that hat a month ago, and you just laughed at it. But that was before I saw it on TV. Are those calls all for my beanie? Put her there, partner. these motorized sneakers today, and we'll throw in this amazing, slightly used helium-filled knapsack. Call the number on your screen right now! Wow, Mr. Kidswater. I never thought home shopping could be so exciting, helpful, and rewarding. Oh, it's rewarding, all right. 102, 103... I mean, I've been coming up with these brilliant ideas for years, and no one ever cared before. Now it all makes sense. Think of all the good things we can do for everyone. I see the future, and it's called Kid Swatter TV. <laughs> Nothing can stop us now. What's wrong with the TV? Try flicking the switch. The what witch? What? what happened? How can this be? Now how can I help the world? I don't know. At least our priceless collectible revolutionary cookware and simulated gemstones are safe. Yippee! Kidswater TV is now off the air! But Mauricia, 
I thought you were just gonna rewire it. And? Is that not rewired enough? But don't you see? We had a TV station. All of us. Well, some of us. <laughs> well, maybe just the principal and me. But people actually liked my ideas. We were helping everyone. Ah, oh, Todd. I've always liked your ideas. But if people just need to see them on TV, I can fix that. Hey, would you guys like to try this new reversible shirt I created? Wicked! Awesome! Cool! Thanks, Mauricia. I couldn't have done it without you. My pleasure, Todd. Sorry, Todd. Stairs are out of order. Lewis? How can stairs be out of order? And what about those kids? Oh, the downstairs are working fine. It's the upstairs that are broken. Don't worry, I'll have it fixed lickety-split. <sighs> Whoa. I knew there had to be an elevator around here somewhere. Now this makes sense. No more 30 flights of stairs every day. From now on, I'm taking the elevator. Huh? What? Maybe I pushed the wrong button. There must be some way to get this thing to go up. Think Wayside. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go! Phew! Just made it to the bathroom in time. Wait a sec. Principal Kidswater? What? 344 South Fairview? What are you doing in here? This is an elevator, not a bathroom. And it's gonna take us to the 30th floor! Elevator? Hey, open up, you stupid gulak! We're stuck. No, 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 no! We can't be stuck. I have to... badly. Hey, wait a minute. I'll use the emergency phone. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Jello? Lewis, it's me, Todd. Help! We're trapped! Save us! Lewis, get me out of here! Oh, I can't hear what you're saying over all that screaming. Let me put you on speakerphone. I can't hold it much longer. I have to go so bad. Lewis, help me before I wet myself. Okay. Lewis, <laughs> it's me, Todd. I'm stuck in the elevator with Mr. Kidswater. Dude, there's no elevator at Wayside. Actually, there are. Dana? According to the official Wayside Welcome Binder, subsection E, page 33, paragraph 17, <clears throat> Wayside elevators become operational when stairs are out of order. Hang on, little dude. I'm on my way. You mean we're on our way. Hold on, Myron. If we're all going to do this, you'll have to do everything exactly the way I would. You, you know, know what, what that means. means. Rescue, Rescue dudes. dudes. This leads to the main elevator shaft. Good work, Lewis. Okay, Lewis, you first. No problem, Lewis. Excuse me, Lewis.
Lewis. Save yourselves! We'll never leave you, Lewis! You know the rescue dude code. We never leave a dude behind. No! Ah! Help me! I'm falling! <laughs> Mr. K? Um... Don't worry. We'll be okay. We'll be rescued soon. Who knew this is how it would end? To perish alone in this airless box. And nothing to comfort me but my bloated bladder. Mr. Kidswater, you're not exactly alone. I'm here. Uh, hanky? I don't have a hanky. Just let me use your sleeve. No! Ew! Will you stop that? I don't like being stuck here either. I can't stand being used as a hanky. And I hate climbing 30 flights of stairs every day. Now, pull yourself together, Mr. K. <laughs> Hear that? Yes, I know that sound well. We must be close. Come on, rescue dudes, let's go! Whoa! That is some serious inner building mechanical stuff. Gotta time it just right to get through. Or you could just flip the off switch. <laughs> Dude. Mr. K, hitting yourself like that is not gonna do any good. Actually, I find it helps me forget I have to go. There it is! All right, here's the elevator. Now all we gotta do is open the emergency escape hatch and... <laughs> uh, Mr. K, the door's open. I mean the Guzax. What? The Guzax are open? Stupid Guzax. <laughs> We'll never catch it this way. Come on, I know a shortcut. Oh, these Guzaks, how they mock me. Opening just long enough to torment me. To let me know just how much I failed in life. Mr. K. If you're gonna do the self-pity thing again, can you just bang your head on the wall instead? That worked much better last time. Alas, I'm too sad to even be sad. Or even need a bathroom. Touché, my four-cornered foe! You win. This is all my fault. The wayside school, the wayside elevator, the wayside goose acts. I'm just one big wayside failure. What? Will you cut that out already? You're no Wayside failure. You're Mr. Kidswater, principal of Wayside. It doesn't matter if this place is sideways, upside down, or inside out. I think it's 30 stories of greatness, and you're the great man who made it this way. What did you just say? You're the great man. No, 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 before that. Principal of Wayside. No, 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 before that. Wayside failure? No, 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 before that. Cut it out? Yes! Woo! Cut it out! I, Mr. Kitswater, the principal of Wayside School, will cut it out! Todd? Mauricia! What are you doing? I heard some weird sounds in there. 
and it sounded like a skating rink. No, it's just an elevator. Sort of. Hang on, dudes! Almost there! <laughs> you okay, Todd? Where's Mr. K? You okay, Mr. K? I'm more than okay, Lewis. I'm Mr. Kitswater, the principal of Wayside School. I think he needs some privacy now. Wait, don't tell us. Rescue me! Oh, 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 oh,